All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Lancaster Brewing Company. And they are out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And this is their double chocolate milk stout. So they're calling this one a stout brewed with natural flavors. It comes in at 6.8% alcohol by volume, 33 IBUs. And at the time of review, this can is approximately 10 and a half months old. I'm gonna give a huge thanks, shout out once again to a good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Justin, for this this beer so big thanks to him in the description box i'll post a link to the beer haul video i did that contains all the goodies justin hooked me up with and he uh gave me an entire case of pennsylvania beers 20 of which were unique and this is the final beer from that box i am reviewing he gave it to me back in like middle of october so it took me about two and a half months to get through all of them uh awesome box of beers uh, two of the beers from that box are going to be on my top beer list of 2022, which you should see. It's going to be a live stream somewhat uh, soon, probably in the next, by the time you see this, maybe in the next week, week and a half, two weeks, something like that. Um, they were fantastic beers. The vast majority of the ones that he gave me were pretty fantastic. And this is the last one. Now, did I save the la uh, best for last? I did not because full disclosure, I've had this one before. Uh, I went to Erie, Pennsylvania, um, probably like six or seven years ago, I think it was like 2015, 2016, 17, something like that. I can't remember exactly when, because I, I used to go to Erie, Pennsylvania uh, once or twice uh, a year, and I'd go and pick up some beers and whatnot. Haven't done that uh, in a while, but uh, I did grab a six pack of this back then, and I thought I had a, one bottle left of it, so I was going to do a side-by-side. -side. I think it was a 2000. It must have been, I must have went there in 2017 last time because I think it was 2017, but I didn't have any more bottles. I thought I did, so I must have drank it. Um, I enjoy this one. Good beer, 6.8% double uh, chocolate milk stout, really good. Not gonna be my favorite box, I know that, uh, but I wanna see if this is just as good as I remember it being. So anyway, we're gonna crack this one. Oh, no, let's read the back real quick, make this the longest review ever. It says, don't miss out on the intense roasted malt, silky smooth mouthfeel, subtle sweetness and velvety chocolate goodness of our uh, double chocolate milk stout. We've gone over the top with more malt, the infusion of cacao nibs and pure chocolate for a truly mind blowing experience in beer. So again, they call this a stout brewed with natural flavors, but it has to have lactose to be called milk stout. And then they're talking about cacao nibs and actual pure chocolate. So seems like this is a lot of chocolate in this one and uh, that just went everywhere. Pretty fantastic. Someone asked me why I lick my fingers all the time because when they go over your fingers like that, I don't want to be all sticky. And a lot of times I just forget to grab paper towels. So that's why I do that. It's also force of habit. It's something that I've done for a long time. So I'll do this, right? And then I'll cheat and taste a little bit. No harm, no foul. Anyway, yeah, that is beautiful. So on the back here, the SRM is, or sorry, the OG is 18, and then they don't have the SRM. It just says color black. True. <laughs> that is uh, pitch black. Uh, into the light, on camera, everything. That's me pitch black with just under a finger of a straight up uh, light brown colored head. Uh, looks pretty creamy. There is a little bit of alcohol legs at almost 7%, but not substantial, just a little bit there. Yeah, looks like a double chocolate milk stout. And it smells like it too. Wow, I'm getting like fudgy tones. It's like sweet, dark chocolate fudge. There's some roasted malt in here. A little bit of like a vanilla kick too because of the lactose. Wow, that, that smells super chocolatey. Kind of how I remember this beer being. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I checked this one in. And if I did, I think Untapped deleted it because I went to Untapped to check what I gave this one out. A lot of times I don't do that. I did. Wasn't there. But yeah, it's just chocolate. Like it's... This is not overly complex in those. There's just a lot of different chocolate. There's sweet or dark chocolate. There's fudgy kind of characteristics, almost like a Hershey's chocolate syrup. A lot of different chocolate characters. Underlying, like I said, roasted malt, vanilla. But that chocolate is dominating the palate, really. It's, it's delicious. They call it double chocolate milk stout? Yep. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Justin. Just really well-made double chocolate milk stout. I do get a little bit of a metallic vibe. And I mentioned this in almost every single milk stout review I've probably ever done. But milk stouts are the one style that I pick up on a metallic vibe. I don't know if it's the lactose itself or the combination between the lactose and the roasted malts. But something gives me a little bit of a metallic vibe. More often than not, not all the time. I'd probably say about 75% of the time. Here I'm getting it. It's not substantial. It's just noticeable. Body's like lower side of medium, approaching medium, fine at 
the mouthfeel, they say, didn't they say like velvety, uh, silky smooth mouthfeel? I wouldn't necessarily say silky smooth, but it does have a nice smooth, almost creamy kind of vibe. There's more carbonation than you kind of think or maybe even want. But it quickly gets washed away by a, a decently smooth and creamy kind of mouthfeel. So mouthfeel is really nice. Body, maybe a touch thin, but I think it's okay. The taste. The nose kind of followed suit, but I will say in the taste, it's not as sweet as the nose was dictating, which I do appreciate because 6.8%, I don't want it to be overly sweet, but it does have a big, strong, at punch you in your face kind of impactful chocolate note. I should say more than note, it has a big like chocolate character. Like there's, there's levels to it. Tip of the tongue, I get like almost a baker's kind of chocolate, like a uh, cocoa powder. There's a little bit of roasted malt under, uh, roasted malt under, uh, if I can speak, roasted malt underneath it. Passes through, it gets a little bit sweeter, a little bit of fudgy, a little bit of, I'd say a skosh of like a sweeter dark chocolate. Underlying like maybe even like a coffee roast too, maybe a touch of like a caramel or molasses. Midway through the palate, carrying on to the back of the palate, it starts to kind of, the sweetness kind of dies out. And there's this nice semi-dry kind of finish that hits. This is mildly bitter, not a lot of bitterness going on here, but it does have a decent balance, maybe a little bit sweeter than you would uh, want from the style, just because again, sub 7%, I don't want it super sweet. This is like 60, 40 sweetness to dryness. Um, that metallic character, as I'm you know sipping on it and going through, uh, it's kind of dissipating nicely. So the first was a first it was like a more of a shock and now as I'm settling in it's kind of going away and it's not as noticeable but there's a little bit of like a metallic pinch there. Uh 6.8% a touch of warming in the chest nothing on the palate it's fine. Uh, yeah this is a really well made chocolate milk stout or in this case a double chocolate milk stout. Um it just kind of is what it is. Like stylistically they've done a pretty good job. I'd say this gets like rating wise like a like a 4.3 out of 5 or something like that if you're talking about a double chocolate milk stout i could do without that metallic tinge maybe a little bit more of like a rich chocolate flavor on the palate as opposed to like i think the nose screamed rich decadent and sweet and i think i would like that in the taste without like a huge sweetness but i want it to be like more decadent and robust from the chocolate character but this is very drinkable i think this is a very drinkable chocolate milk stout I think you could buy a six pack of this and really enjoy yourself and it wouldn't be too sweet, wouldn't be too over the top, sessionable to some degree. So uh, double chocolate milk stout from Lancaster. And keep in mind, this is 10 and a half months old, this can. When uh, Justin gave it to me, it was already you know, like eight months old, uh, just under eight months old. So the fact that it's held up in a can and it's 10 and a half months old and the chocolate character is still there, pretty awesome. I'm going to give this, like I said, about a 4.3 out of five for a style, but as far as like what I enjoy, I'm gonna give this a high four to five and go 4.05 out of five for the double chocolate milk stout from Lancaster. I think this is pretty good and I have uh, no issues with it uh, outside of maybe that metallic tinge. Uh, if that was gone, it would get even higher, maybe until low 4.25. Price point availability, I don't know, because I didn't uh, buy this uh, buy it this time around. I think, like, I want to say I bought a six-pack of bottles. It was, like, $11.99 when I did back in, like, 2017. So I'd imagine it's kind of in the same realm, like, 10 to 12 bucks for a six-pack of uh, cans. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Justin, or anybody out there around Lancaster can get this beer. And then uh, distribution on this one, availability, I know they get distro throughout i think pretty sure throughout pennsylvania never seen them here in the buffalo new york area i don't know if they get outside of pennsylvania but uh the beers i've had from that i reviewed their uh, baked pumpkin ale which was a beer that uh, justin also gave to me it was pretty solid i've had a couple others from them they make solid beer uh nothing amazing at least in my opinion of what i've had but this is just a damn good beer so if you've had this one before post in the comment section let me know what you think about it like i said 6.8 percent it's more of a sessionable chocolate milk stout which you don't see all that often I ain't mad at it. So thanks again to Justin. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.